Yeah, yeah. I call the member for North Sydney. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This weekend, Central Sydney will become a riot of colour and glitter as hundreds of thousands of people come together for the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. This year, there will be much to celebrate. It will be the first Mardi Gras since marriage equality became law, and just as importantly, it will be Mardi Gras' 40th anniversary. Mardi Gras began on the 24th of June 1978 to coincide with the anniversary of the Stonewall riots in New York. The march, although given a legal permit, was broken up by the police, who arrested 53 people. How our society has changed is reflected in the role of the New South Wales Police Force. Forty years ago, they reacted to Mardi Gras with brutality. Today, the New South Wales Police proudly march in the parade in uniform. From these beginnings, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras has become one of the largest gay pride events in the world and is New South Wales' second largest event. It has been estimated that it is worth more than $30 million to the New South Wales economy as visitors flock to Sydney from around the world. Forty years ago, the 78ers, as they became known, marched for tolerance and for equality before the law, regardless of sexuality. The success of Sydney's Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras is a testimony to their efforts and the determination of the LGBTI community and to all Australians who have demonstrated a sense of inclusion rather than exclusion. Mr Deputy Speaker, I congratulate everyone involved in the 2018 Mardi Gras and pay tribute to those who began it all, the 78ers. Happy Mardi Gras.